Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. So today's video is one that I promised a couple of months ago when I did my bookshelf tour. There was a white box that I pointed to and said inside here is a small Harry Potter collection of bits and bobs that I've collected over quite a few years. I actually call it my Instagram box because I use quite a lot of the stuff in there for Instagrams or I have plans to do that. So yeah, I thought it would be quite interesting for you guys to have a little see what is inside and all of the things that I've kept as magical keepsakes. So that's what we're going to be doing. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. So let's go because even though the box doesn't look that full, it actually is. There's like so many things, so many things. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to be doing this in any particular order because this box is just not organised. So, the first thing that I'm going to take out is this, which is the Hogwarts acceptance letter. And it's got his address on the front, the cupboard under the stairs for Privet Drive. And it actually has the letter inside from Professor McGonagall. And yeah, it's just really nice. This is more of one of the prop replica pieces in this box. There are a few of these which are my favourite pieces from this box. So yes, we have a Hogwarts acceptance letter letter. Next is the letter addressed to Ronald Weasley which is the howler from Molly Weasley from the Chamber of Secrets. Obviously it's not red and it doesn't like shout at you but it has the message on it from Molly Weasley. It's like Ronald Weasley how dare you steal that car? I am absolutely disgusted etc etc. But that's really cool. I love the handwriting on this. I think that's really really awesome. That's another one of my favourite pieces from this box. I have a Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters ticket. This is absolutely beautiful. This is actually from the studio tour. I think it cost about five pounds, but I really like the gold finish on it. It's one of my favorite things as well. They're all my favorite things. I'm saying that about everything I know. I then have the 422nd Quidditch World Cup map campsite, and this is really cool because it's a pop-up and that just satisfies me a lot. <laughs> so on here, it just has the whole layout of the Quidditch campsite and it's really, really cool. It has all the pictures of like the tents and it says there's merchandise tents, lost and found, wand repairs. It's just really cool. It's something that pleases me a lot. The next piece, okay, this is probably my ultimate favorite from this box. This is a photograph, it's a wizard photograph, so it does move and it looks really 3D and I think that's really cool. This is a photograph of the Order of the Phoenix. We have Neville's parents on there, we have Harry Potter's parents on there, we've got Mad Eye Moody, Sirius, and everyone that was in the original Order. And I just think it's so beautiful and it feels really magical because it moves. Yes, love that. I have a couple of maps from Fantastic Beasts. So this is the first one. And the second one, which is my favorite map, is this one. I actually have this in a much bigger size, but I've put the smaller ones in this box. So yeah, I have two maps. I use this one quite often on Instagram. I just think it's beautiful and it feels really old. So yeah, I mean, these are things that you would easily imagined to be on Newt Scamander's desk inside his briefcase of magical beasts in his little shed. So yeah, I have two maps. Love a good map. Now these are actually fairly new to this collection and these are detention notices. I got these from a Gobstone Alley box. So there's a detention notice for Neville Longbottom and there's also one for me to fill in myself, which obviously I haven't yet, but it's nice to have the option. So I just think this is a really lovely thing. Like you can't buy this stuff. And yeah, I just think it's, it's nice. It makes it feel like really real. Like this has come from Hogwarts. This is the detention that Neville got. And I just really like it. I just think that's so cool. Next up, I have got this. Now this is quite special to me because I got this when I took my boyfriend to the studio tour for the very first time. This is Harry Potter's name that has been blown out of the Goblet of Fire, hence the burnt edges. And yeah, I think you can only get these if you visit the tour and some of the interactors give them out. They're not there all of the time. This is the only one that I've got, but I know that you can get the set of four. And yeah, so I, I really love this. It's definitely really special to me. Obviously, it's Harry Potter, but it has a uh, other sentimental value to it, but I love it. And next up, what have we got? We have got, oh, we have got a handwritten letter from Lily Potter to Sirius. And it's like, thank you for Harry's birthday presents. You'd think he'd been born on a broom, etc., etc. And it looks handwritten. And, you know, it's from Lily. 
it just it just fills me with a lot of happiness I love these kind of replicas because they feel a little bit more special than everything else. I've then got a Ministry of Magic identity card and this one is for Mafalda Hopkirk and she is in the department of improper use of magic and it has all of her thumbprints and her signature and loads of stamps like these just look so cool and like it's just nice to imagine like this is what I'd have if I worked in the Ministry of Magic. I love the purple but yeah I'm a big fan of the branding of Ministry of Magic. I love all the stamps that you get on them so that's a nice piece and I've also got another Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters ticket. I do not remember where this one came from. This is a lot smaller than the one that I showed you earlier but it's otherwise it's pretty much the same. These are cool. These were handmade by Alarm 18 and they are Hogwarts library cards and they have all of the signatures from people that go to Hogwarts like Draco Malfoy, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Susan Bones, etc, etc. And they have like doodles on. So this one says, my name is Gregory Goyle and I smell um, Dung, bon Dung Bombs Rule, Chudley Cannons and some noughts and crosses. I just think these are so cool. Again, prop replicas that you can imagine having these inside the books from Hogwarts Library and checking them out and checking them in and all that kind of thing. I just think they're awesome. I don't know if you can see those very well, but they're really, really cool. Love a good replica, love a good replica. Speaking of good replicas, I also have a small Nightbest ticket. This was also made by Alarm 18. It says one passenger for a single journey, $11, so it probably means like Gringotts coins. Every passenger is required to have a ticket to be produced or given up on demand. So yeah, yeah, I love the color of this and it's also got that gold foiling detail with a picture of the night bus. Oh yes, this is, I uh, love it, I love replicas. So next up, I have got a small chocolate frog card collection. I never intended on collecting these, but here we are. So some of these are official cards, some of them are from Gobstone Alley boxes. No idea where this one came from. So we have Dumbledore, we've got Helga Hufflepuff, I've got Severus Snape, I have got another Helga Hufflepuff. I've got Rowena Ravenclaw, Victor Crumb, and the last one is Professor McGonagall. So those are all of the ones that I have. In fact, I, I might have a couple more in my actual chocolate frogs on my shelves, but I'll keep them in their boxes. So yeah, those are my chocolate frog cards. I would really love to do something with these. I just think they're really nice. I love the color purple and gold for like magical things. I then have a beer mat or a coaster from the Blind Pig, which is from Fantastic Beasts. So we have the Blind Pig on one side and then on the other side, it is Giggle Water. It's an advertisement for Giggle Water, one of the drinks that make you like when you take a shot it makes you go ah ha ha so yeah that is that love a good coaster but I didn't want to use it so I was just like I'll keep that I then got a small replica of a Makusa wand permit I used to have really big ones of these but this actually opens up and then inside you have the full wand permit that you can fill out which I think is really cool. These are really really awesome and they're designed by Mina Lima. Next up I have got a little pull out which I liked which is called Transfiguration Today. I think this is the American version of the Daily Prophet but again I just love everything on it and I love reading these. I wish they would make proper replicas of the Daily Prophet and so on. I think that would be so cool to have. I then have a flyer though it could be a ticket to the 422nd Quidditch World Cup, the final, which has Ireland and Bulgaria. And yeah, so that's that and it's both sides. This is really good quality actually, it's shiny. I love the colors and yeah, I just, I love the design work on there. Next up, I do not remember where these are from, but these are a Weasley a Weasley product. These are actually betting slips from them and it says, this ticket is your receipt, thank you for your custom. And it has race, contestant, stake and odds. So it has the betting on one side, colors on the other side that has their branding on. Uh, I, I don't remember where they're from. I then have this. This was actually sent to me in a PR package from Pottermore. This is one of the cards that you can get in one of their sets. They have this quote 
card set and so you'll get like a whole pack of these and this quote in particular says the truth it is a beautiful and terrible thing and should therefore be treated with great caution which is obviously a quote by Dumbledore from the Philosopher's Stone so yeah that's a nice little quote card uh, I then have Senator Shaw a little flyer for all of the stuff in Fantastic Beasts uh, I have a bigger version of this as well in here I have then got a scroll which is for Dumbledore's army and it has all of the signatures Fun fact, the actors that played the characters on here all use their own handwriting, so, you know, it's nice to see all of their handwriting. I think it's really interesting because they're all so different. But yeah, this was the sign-up sheet if you wanted to be part of Dumbledore's army that actually came with a little ribbon, which I'll put back afterwards. There's still quite a few things in here, so the next thing is Witches Live Among Us. This is of course the all of the propaganda from Fantastic Beasts. This is actually a little leaflet. This is out of one of the books, but I wanted to use that for a photograph, so I ripped it out. I will probably glue it back in. I don't like taking things out of books, but there is a couple of things that I really wanted to do that with, so. I have a couple of Gryffindor patches. I think I mentioned this in a video recently. I don't use these patches, but I mean, they're quite nice to keep and they're embroidered, so they're nice quality. So that's why I've got those in there. Um, the next thing is another recent edition. This is the postcard of Professor Umbridge and it says, trust no bitch. And it's in a pink envelope. I've recently done an Instagram post, which is all pink and Professor Umbridge themed. So if you wanna check out my Instagram, go take a little look over there. I've then got some cards here. Now these are character cards. So we've got Queenie, Jacob, Percival Grays and Tina. And on the other side, now this, this is the side that I really liked. They're kind of like tarot cards like in the style of tarot cards and I just thought they were really, really cute and really well designed and beautiful. Now these are definitely Fantastic Beasts themed but I don't remember what they signify but there's some playing cards and there's an owl on one, there's like a joker on another but yeah, I need to try and figure out what those were from because my memory is failing me. So I've also got a small paper luggage tag for Newt Scamander. <laughs> it's a little bit random. I've got some postcards which are designed by Mina Lima. So we've got the Witch's Friend. That's also the Witch's Friend as well. And this one is the American Charmer. And this one is Witch's Friend as, as well. So I think these are meant to be magazine covers from Fantastic Beasts in that era. They're really, really beautiful. You can buy the postcards of these as well. Uh, don't remember where I got those from. And we've got a couple of things left. So I have a Hogwarts wax seal. I actually have a lot of these now because I actually made some of my own. I believe this one came from a Pottermore letter maybe because they sometimes send me invitations and I'm pretty sure that that wax seal is from them. I then got Luna Lovegood's cork necklace with a butterbeer cork. Uh, that's not really a paper thing, but it's small enough to live in this box. I have two things left, so we're doing well. I've got a Hogwarts Express. This is made out of metal. It's a luggage tag. I haven't used it because I didn't want to ruin it. I think this came from one of the character collection boxes. But yeah, I thought that was really cool and could go in an Instagram perhaps, but it's metal. It's really weird that it's metal. Like, wasn't expecting it when I got it. And the last thing in here was from, I believe, I want to say Geek Gear box. So it comes in this plastic protection case and then inside is like this medallion with the Chamber of Secrets snakes all over it, the door of the Chamber of Secrets. And I don't know what to do with this kind of stuff, so it kind of just entered in this box. But it's really nice quality, it's really, really heavy. And yeah, so that is that. And I think we've come to the end. In fact, no, we have one more thing left. The last thing was this, which I took out earlier. So it has a little ribbon. And then when you open it, it is the Have You Seen This Wizard poster from The Prisoner of Azkaban. And obviously it's Sirius Black there with his Azkaban prison number. And it says, any information leading to the arrest of this man shall be duly 
awarded, notify immediately by Al, the Ministry of Magic. So I think that's really cool. It'd be nice to be framed, but it's a little bit battered now because it's been folded and in that box, but it's still a nice prop because we've seen those in the films. And that's everything that's in that box. I definitely have a few more things that are scattered around, but that's the main kind of mystery Harry Potter collection that was in that box that I promised to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, because I get this question asked on every single video, when are you gonna do an updated main Harry Potter collection? And it's not gonna be for a while, because I have to rip apart my entire room, because I have so much Harry Potter stuff, it's, it's a big, ordeal to get all of my Harry Potter clothes out, to get all of my collectibles, all of the things like that, and yeah, it, it's quite a lot to do, so I've been putting it off for quite a while. I will get round to it, I don't know whether I'm going to do it at the end of this year or maybe next year, but I will be doing another one at some point in the future, so stick around. But yeah, that's it, I'm going to go now, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I have a really exciting video coming soon, I'm going to Noble Collection, which is the store that makes all of the really amazing Harry Potter collections collectibles and the replicas um I'm going for like a store tour and I can show you it all so if you're not able to go you can come with me and I will show you it um so that's really cool so I'm looking forward to that and I hope you are too and on that note I will see you guys very soon bye